It's the winter of 1966. A 25 year old French woman named Jackie is living in Indianapolis, Indiana with her almost three year old son, Michael. Jackie has recently started dating a man named Frank who is crazy about her. They're getting along really well. Now, the previous year, Jackie's husband had left her and Michael never to be seen again. And she wanted to find love and she wanted some stability for her little boy. But there was one problem. Frank's father, Art, wanted nothing to do with Jackie or her son. E even though he and Frank went round and round and battled, they could never come to a meeting of the minds, come to an agreement, and it was putting a strain on this newly burgeoning relationship. Jackie decided if this was going to work, she had to sit down with Art and hammer this out, figure out what's going on, see if we can't get past this obstacle. A week later, Jackie, Frank, and Michael go visit Art and his wife. They're sitting at the kitchen table. And Jackie's sitting alone with Art. She looks at him and has one question for him. Art, what have I done to you that makes you not want to acknowledge me or my son? You don't talk to us. You don't even acknowledge us when they're in the room. What have we done to you? After a long pause, Art says, Jackie, you know that I was a pilot for the Americans during the war, and I was stationed in France. My experience there was not good, and I don't think very highly of your people. I saw a lot of loose women, a lot of times prostituting themselves to Germans and some Americans. I just feel like you have a country that has no morals, no ethics, and I really want nothing to do with any of you people. Jackie's initial reaction was rage. She was so angry at these words. But after a few seconds, she realized he doesn't know the real story. Maybe I can help him and salvage this situation. She said, Art, I guess I can understand why, as an outsider, you would look at us that way, but here's the reality of the situation. By the time you were stationed in France, Germany had occupied us for four years. They had taken all of our food supplies. Many of our men, our husbands, our fathers, our brothers, our sons had either been killed in the war, were prisoners, or were now in labor camps. The women had no idea if their men were ever going to return home, and they were starving. More importantly, their children were starving. And yes, some French women prostituted themselves. They did what they had to do to survive. We were near starvation. I know how much you love your children. Wouldn't you do anything you could to protect them? Especially if they were starving to death. It's a long silence. I'm not here to make you like me, Art, nor my child. But if you're going to make a decision about us, you need to make it based on the facts and not just some snap knee-jerk reaction. After another long silence, Art looked at her and said, Jackie, I had no idea. I'm ashamed to tell you that I arrived at France. I did my job and I stayed on the base. I never went out into the French countryside. I just didn't want to deal with the people after my initial reaction. I was wrong. And I'm really sorry. I had no idea how bad it really was. From that day forward, Art not only embraced Jackie and her child, he treated them like his own, daughter and grandson. What does this have to do with business? Everything. All across the world, every single day, people are interacting, either in an office or virtually. And because we're human, we're susceptible to making snap decisions about one another. We hear about a lot of frustration and, and hostility in the workplace, in society in general. A lot of it is because we make snap decisions, just like my grandpa did when he first met my mom and me. However... Once he heard her story, he took the time to slow down and really listen. It made all the difference. And it changed two lives for the better forever.
you can have the same result in your companies if you'll just slow down long enough, just a few minutes, that's all it takes, to understand the story behind the story.